Hi guys. So today I would like to talk about stochastic differential equations. So we've already encountered stochastic differential equations when we were talking about uh, Black-Scholes model. If you remember that time we had modeled the stock price as a uh, geometric ground in motion and if you remember the equation we basically have written the stock price as d of st is equal to alpha st dt plus sigma st dwt where wt basically was a brownian motion right so this basically is a, a stochastic differential equation a, gen a generic form of a stochastic differential equation is given by dx of t is equal to some function beta of t x t dt plus gamma of t x t d w t. Okay, so this basically is a generic form of a stochastic differential equation. Okay, generic form. Here beta basically is called the drift this is called the diffusion. Now if we compare these two equations and if we had a function beta of t and x given by alpha x and we had a function gamma of t and x as sigma of x then this um, geometric ground in motion can be written as ds of t is equal to beta of t s of t dt plus gamma of t s of t dw of t okay so it takes the same form as a generic stochastic differential equation hence this basically is also a stochastic differential equation okay so many a time when we are given a stochastic differential equation we would also be given a initial condition so let's consider this to be the stochastic differential equation and we are given an initial condition of x of t is equal to some value x where t is greater than or equal to 0 and x belongs to r okay so this is basically is the initial condition that we are given and now what we are required to do is in order to solve this we basically are required to solve for a function xt okay so basically we are looking for a solution xt which is basically the stochastic process such that it satisfies this initial condition and it satisfies this stochastic differential equation okay so we basically are now looking for a solution given by x of t okay now the way we can actually um, come up with the solution is basically integrating uh, this differential equation okay so let's do that if we integrate this from small t to capital T dx of u is equal to integral small t to capital T beta of u x of u du plus integral t to t gamma of u x of u dw of u okay so just integrating both sides from t to capital T so the left hand side would become x of capital T minus x of small t is equal to I'm going to rewrite this small t to capital T beta of u x of u du plus integral t to t gamma of u x of u dw of u and I can further x of t we are already given an initial condition this is equal to x so I can rewrite x of capital T as x plus integral small t to capital T beta of u x of u du plus t to t gamma of u x of u dw of u okay so this basically is the initial condition this basically is the ordinary integral uh, Lebesgue integral and this basically is an Ito's integral okay Ito's and this is ordinary ordinary integral okay so we basically are given an initial condition since we are given an initial condition x of t basic f, x of t is basically ft measurable 
and since we are already given the value of x of t x of small t as equal to x in order to compute x of capital t we only need the initial condition and we need to know the paths of the brownian motion between time small t and capital t okay we don't really care about the paths of the uh, brownian motion between zero and small t because we are already given the value of x of t is equal to x so we are already given an initial condition hence we are only concerned about the paths of the brownian motion between small t and capital t okay that's the first thing to understand now under um, certain conditions of um, beta and uh, gamma we can guarantee that x of t uh, the solution will exist and the solution would be unique okay so uh, under certain conditions of beta and gamma we will have a unique solution uh, for x of t okay and those conditions we're not going to talk about here but you can actually refer to many stochastic differential equation books and they basically give out the conditions which are required to have a unique solution okay for us we basically need to understand that xt would be ft measurable and will only depend on the parts of the brownian motion between time small t to capital t okay now it's not very easy to basically come up with a solution for x of t for many of these functions, okay? But there are certain classes of stochastic differential equations for which we can uh, find out a solution explicitly, okay? And one of those classes of stochastic differential equations basically are called linear stochastic differential equations. And they take the form of dx of t is equal to a t plus b t xt dt plus ct plus dt xt dwt okay where at bt ct and dt basically are uh, functions of time okay they can also be um, adapted processes and we will still be able to find a solution uh, an explicit solution for x of t and this basically is called linear stochastic differential equations. So it basically is a class of uh, stochastic differential equations and they are called linear stochastic differential equations and for these we can explicitly find a solution for x of t. Okay, we can find the solution for x of t for these classes of stochastic differential equations. Okay guys? Now, um, the solution of the stochastic differential equation which is given by x of t basically is a Markov process. It's a Markov process. Okay, we already know what a Markov process is. So solution of these differential equations are a Markov process. But in order to make sure that it's a Markov, we, we basically need to make sure that uh, the, there's only the, the only source of randomness uh, that's coming on the right hand side here is basically from um, the Brownian motion and the randomness which is inherent in the solution of x of t okay so the only source of uncertainty can be the Brownian motion and the randomness which is inherent in the solution of x of t they cannot be any third source of randomness so for example if you basically had these functions a linear stochastic differential equation and if a t b t c t d t they they itself were random okay they were random in the sense that they basically had another source of randomness uh, in it then basically we couldn't guarantee that x of t would be a markov okay so in order for x of t to be a markov process we need to make sure that the only source of uh, randomness is basically from the Brownian motion and the randomness which is inherent in the solution of x of t. They cannot be a third source. Okay, if there was a third source, then x of t, the solution of this differential equation, would not be a Markov process. Okay, so something to keep in mind. Now what we're going to do, we'll do is we're going to look at two examples um, and we're going to see how we can solve these uh, stochastic differential equations.